Okay, okay. Let's get to it. <laughs> Alright guys, so it's been a long time. Please forgive me, but I got a new video for you guys. Wait, what the heck? What's the new video called again? Oh, dang it, YouTuber problems. Uh, what is it? What is it? It's, oh yeah, how to look fresh with your simple outfits for the summer. That's too long. Wait, what is it? Is it how to, no, wait. Oh yeah, all right. Here's a real title. How to make your simple outfits look fresh with accessories. Let's get started. What's up guys? If you guys don't know who I am, my name is Mark Yabyab. I am a men's fashion enthusiast. I love everything and anything related to men's fashion. Helping you guys look better, helping you guys look for the best accessories for the low, and you know, just doing reviews and everything and anything to help you guys look good and feel good. So if you guys are into any of that, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let's get on with the video. All right guys, so it took me a while to actually make this video and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not lazy. I just been super freaking busy. My funds have been pretty low, primarily because of, you know, paying bills, fixing up my car because of repairs and all that good stuff. But none of that matters because right now, I'm about to show you guys how to look super fresh and super dope even if you're wearing your simple outfits. Let's get started. Uh, don't mind the ghetto setup. Uh, all my professional lighting equipment, audio equipment is actually at work. Um, so they, we are temporarily going to be doing a project and they need all my stuff. So that's the reason why everything's all lit up and weird and echoey, but I'll do my best. So please bear with it until I get my equipment back. We'll be going back to our original setup. First item I'm going to talk about are sunglasses. And these glasses are actually from Aquila. Uh, if you guys don't know the brand, shout out to Stevie for promoting them. They actually provide high quality sunglasses for a cheaper price. I could just wear some sunglasses and it'll make the outfit much more better. It'll say, hey, it'll make you look like you know how to dress up and you know style, all that good stuff. So I actually got the Apollo model primarily because I was actually in the market to look for some uh, trendy sunglasses and the number one sunglasses I was actually looking at were from Rude. Uh, I think it, it's the collaboration with Gary Lazary. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I forgot how that <laughs> name is spelled or even pronounced. But yes, I really like those glasses just because it's much more boxy but like small, compact and I have like a more round face and it will help accentuate, uh, I guess you say, my, my face. It doesn't make it look as round if I'm wearing much more boxy sunglasses. And it actually gives off those Ray-Ban you know, wafer looks and I like that look, but I wanted something different. So instead of getting uh, the polo with black tint, I opted for the yellow one just because, I don't know guys, yellow has been super, super sick lately, but yeah, this is how it looks, as you can tell. Super simple, but like it makes the outfit look nice. I don't know how to explain it guys. When someone wears sunglasses and it's super different, that just says, hey, like I'm, I'm different. You know, I know what I'm doing. I'm confident and I know how to dress. And I like what I like. So if you don't like it, then hey, I don't care because I'm doing me. And yeah, guys, I really like these lenses and look of it. Um, I mean, I don't think there's nothing else much for me to say just because they're sunglasses. But uh, these actually came out to be, I believe, 100 10, 120 and I used a discount code to get it for like basically a hundred bucks if you don't want these I say by all means you could always get the Ray-Bans a cheaper alternative you could even go to freaking Target guys like do you but for sure if I were to have an accessory to accentuate my outfit especially for the summer it would be sunglasses on to the next one
The next item that I'm going to be talking about and probably like 120% believe that you guys need is a watch. You know, it doesn't matter what watch you want you could get an Apple Watch and the Apple Watch looks super sick with like street outfit you could wear something like this and some, some nice Air Forces or Vans or whatever or if you want to dress fancy you could always get a watch like this um, you know I love love watches like this um, I know this is more like dapper wear but the fact that you wear this with something like a nice polo shirt or a button down shirt like it, it'll speak class and I really really like that and I feel like that really accentuates uh, your look. It's very subtle but it just like it adds like that chef's kiss you know. A little simple thing that just makes the outfit you know and for me personally you can get a nice gold watch, stainless steel watch or for me personally I really really like leather strapped watches. I honestly don't know why but it's just, it just speaks character and I love the fact that um, you, you can change it up. Um, you, I mean, you don't even have to get something super expensive like this. It was actually given uh, as a gift from my mom for my birthday. And you know, I, I love this and I've gotten so much compliments. Dressing up and wearing this and it just adds that simple touch, you know. Getting a watch will tell people that, hey, I know how to dress, I love details and I'm here to look classy, look sick, look dope. I know what I'm doing, I love style. Let's go. On to the next item. Alright guys, and the next item I'll be talking about are rings. And I know some guys are like kind of iffy about wearing rings just because it looks feminine. And honestly guys, I was like that too. But um, sometimes it honestly doesn't have to be that way. It, it really depends on the style of the ring. And to me, I feel like people who wear rings are like bosses. Like you see those Italian people. And if you guys know the Irishman, um, it's like the Irishman ring and it just looks super super dope guys and sometimes when you choose a ring it doesn't have to be like over the top big influencer friend jordan jordan o'brien if you guys don't know who he is and i'm pretty sure you guys know who he is because he's an og he he wears ring right and i i don't know if you guys know but i actually do videos and photos i've shot for him for his youtube um i'll link his video that i did personally with him that we collaborated on but yeah, he, he was telling me about rings, right? Because he's into dapper wear and he actually thrifted those for like 10 bucks. And it looks good on him and it fits his style and I really, really like it. And also my friend Carlos, who is his business partner, like he wears rings and he gets it from like Zara and it looks super sick. But, and rings really depend on your style. And for me, I kind of like that street dapper wear, kind of like a mixture of two. And yeah guys i mean i these rings are actually from apps um i highly recommend checking them out guys they're like rings are fairly simple you know like this 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 bar ring right here you know you could just 
place it on like your ring finger and it looks sick like like this um, if you want you can put it on your middle finger too it doesn't really matter but like i feel like louder pieces for your rings um should be either on your pointer finger or middle finger and something simple like a signet ring to go on like you know your pinky and it just it accentuates you know the look if you guys want to up your style without you know spending hella money on like expensive ass shoes or like shorts or like a freaking 200 dollars band vintage shirt that looks like it's gonna rip guys you could just go to apps you can go anywhere else to find some dope ass jewelry uh like i said i recommend apps fairly simple design and it just it's so simple but loud like i, I cannot stress this enough guys it just looks sick and my last ring is actually from uh my dad but anyways yeah something like this is like even though it may be like hundreds of dollars um it the value of this over like these two or anything or even like my jordans like it it doesn't even reach the amount of value that this ring has and that's why I kind of like jewelries because you could always pass it down to uh, the younger generation of your family or you could give it to your, your future kids and this ring is very meaningful to me. So when it comes to like buying jewelry, you either have the option of going to gold or you could get silver. But if I had the option to get a gold one or a silver one, I would always, always choose a gold one. I don't know why. I just, I just think it looks good. Uh, with my complexion, I guess you could say. I'm not trying to say like I'm balling or whatever, but I just think it looks sick, you know? It's very eye-catchy. So the next item, or the next jewelry, is actually a necklace. Uh, I actually got this from H&M. Now I see a lot of people wear necklaces. I know the in thing now is people wearing pearl necklaces. That's cool. I personally don't like it. But if you guys are into any of that stuff, please, by all means, rock it, do you. I'm not hating on you. And if you could pull it off, then I say, hey, like, why the heck not, you know? But yeah, guys, necklaces, I mean, it's, Nothing much for me to talk about. It doesn't have to be super, super expensive. It could be something simple like H&M. Like I said, I think this is like 20 bucks. And when you wear it, I know this is like a sin to wear silver and gold, but let's just take off the rings, right? And guys, it looks super simple. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know something as big as this you could even have like a gold necklace or a silver necklace from like you know your family like a, a necklace with a cross it's just something to help accentuate that look i'm always 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 for a cheaper alternative to make your outfits look hella dope no matter how simple it is but yeah guys um necklace h m approved rings don't get it from h m i don't know about zara so not too sure but yes apps unchained and able or unchained plus able um sick ass freaking brand i believe cole buxton is friends with the owner i think his name is henry i'll put his like his instagram or like i do a little video on his on his instagram but he makes some dope ass like rings and that's like my next ring that i want to get but the ones i want um are a little bit pricey and it's not necessarily a need for me, especially since fall's coming up. All right, guys, so I messed up. I forgot to add one more item, and it's bracelets. And I've seen a lot of fashion influencers, fashion YouTubers wear bracelets, and 
I love the gold ones, but something like this is so heavy. I feel like it's not necessary. And I know I said that um, I like gold over silver, but when it comes to bracelets, I like silver over gold. I don't know why. I'm just hella weird like that. But yeah, guys, um, bracelets, I feel like it kind of accentuates your look as well. Um, probably not as much as like sunglasses or a watch, but it adds that little touch, you know. If I were to order what I would get first to what I would get last for sure, first would probably be uh, watches for sure. It could be an Apple Watch, Smart Watch, watches from Target, Timex, you can never go wrong with those. Um, second would probably be sunglasses. Uh, I know sunglasses is more for summer and spring and some, sometimes fall. But honestly guys, if you know someone's wearing these dope ass sunglasses, you guys will automatically and immediately look at them, look at their fit and be like, dang, this person knows how to dress. Third would be rings, obviously. Fourth would probably be um, necklaces. I feel like it adds like a little small touch uh, to your outfit, especially if you are wearing something simple and you have like a small, small gold chain, small silver chain or multiple chains. And last would be bracelets. But yeah guys, uh, bracelets for sure. I feel like it adds that little touch. I mean, you don't gotta flex on people like, oh hey, look at my, my gold Cartier uh, bracelet or hey, look at my 18K bracelet, 24K bracelet. I know when someone knows how to dress, if they wear the outfit right and it looks good on them and they're confident in wearing it. But yeah guys, not too much to say about bracelets. Uh, this one was passed down from my family. I would honestly recommend apps for the bracelets. There's also a brand here in the Bay Area called Mr. SFC. I was actually thinking about getting a uh, engraved bracelet from them, uh, but I haven't looked at too much of their inventory for me to like solidify like, hey, for sure, Mr. SFC over apps. I know apps is for sure number one. I would honestly recommend them. Uh, but yeah, check out Mr. SFC. They're dope too. Um, if you guys know any other brands, let me know in the comments below. You boys willing to check them out. You guys will automatically and immediately look at them, look at their fit and be like, dang, this person knows how to dress. Third would be rings, obviously. Fourth would probably be um, necklaces. I feel like it adds like a little small touch uh, to your outfit, especially if you are wearing something simple and you have like a small, small gold chain, small silver chain or multiple chains. And last would be bracelets. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Um, you know, let me know in the comments below what you guys think in regards to what accessory you guys are looking for, what accessories you got, what compliments you got because you got this accessory. Any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like the video, and I promise I will be back in two weeks. But now I have to decide what to film. See you guys in two weeks. Peace out.